All right, we just need to make sure that we have reset the time now that we have that initial one there. Okay, you're all, I'm sure, just you know exactly what you're doing now. No pressure, you guys got this. You're going to be great. This is not hard at all. Are we ready? Should we hit this big red button? I'm just behind you. Let's do it. Oh, oh. Hiya! I remember Isaac Newton. Every time that I hear the weather forecast, we now have over 100,000 pascals air pressure. One pascal is equal to one newton per square meter, and one newton is equal to the pressure of one apple. Oh, thank you. That was good. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. Keep it moving. When I first moved to Alberta, I read uh, Todd Babiak's book, The Garno Block, and it talked about mythic grandeur, and I did not know what it meant. And then I went to Tofino for the first time, and I stood underneath a 600-year-old western red cedar, and I thought, this is mythic grandeur. There is magic in the wilderness, and I don't believe in magic. <laughs> Uh, I used to live in Edmonton, and this week I was visiting. On Wednesday morning, I started my sweet Honda CRV, Goldie Honda, and to my surprise, it sounded like a Formula One racer. It sounded like that because my catalytic converter had been sawed out of my muffler pipe. Apparently, over 500 have been stolen since October in Edmonton. I'm sure glad I moved to Calgary. <laughs> have you ever tasted some Saskatoon berries off a Saskatoon bush as you're walking by, or just grabbed a juniper berry off a bush, or maybe found some wild mint in a coulee. You might have not known it, but you were wild crafting. So wild crafting is gathering wild plants in nature and then using them for eating or making tea or doing something cool. So try it. The river was particularly swollen that day. My wife and then boys, 11 and 13, were whitewater rafting in northern Peru. It was a class four river. The guide's instructions were very clear. If you get tossed out, grab the safety rope, and don't let go. We hit the first wave with massive impact. I looked around, my boys were there, my wife was gone. Oh. <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> Women's church retreat, topic for the evening, Envy starts out with a video, and it's a woman from South Carolina, and she has envy because her girlfriend, when she was little, she had herself a sugar daddy, and she couldn't have herself no sugar daddy. She asked her mama, why can't I have me a sugar daddy? She says, you can't have no sugar daddy. Well, my friend has a sugar daddy, but she won't even give me a lick of that sugar daddy. <laughs> Go. My name is Andrew, and I'm an ecstatic dancer, and I'm here to get wild. Are you here to get wild? Hey. <laughs> yes, get in! <laughs> yeah. The first time I lit my hand on fire was not on purpose. The second time that I did it was practicing for the job that I still cannot believe I have, which is getting to teach children daily at Telespark, the Science Center. Uh, as well, I get to figure out things for them to enjoy, and not only do I get to spark flames on my hand, I get to spark their curiosity. That's awesome. I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my dad. He's got a long list of dad-isms. Drive a dog off a gut wagon. That's enough to gag a maggot. Jesus, Mary, Mother of Christ, piss tank, piss pot, piss poor. Jesus Christ, I stepped on a goddamn rake. How old do you think you'll be when you get out of the hospital? Smell this bag of bones and it's like throwing shit at the moon with a rope-handled shovel. I moved from Italy to be in the wild. When I first worked up in Northern BC, the territories in New England, I fell in love with caribou. One of my most memorable memories was spending weeks in the Arctic collecting traditional knowledge following one of the largest migration on Earth, that of the Bering Ground caribou. That's when I learned the meaning of tree. I almost died on a wild night on the water. I was here, beer, warmth, steak, and hot tub was over there. I needed to go, should I go, should I stay, should I go, fuck it, I'm gonna go. And then I ended up being Mr. Dan, Captain Dan on the water, and I got there and everything's good, done. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine an abandoned paintball situation where it's all kind of shadowy, and there in the dark, 
something pink is going back and forth. And on the bottom of the pink thing, there's a squirrel who swallowed a towel. And he bit me while I was trying to save his life. <laughs> Do things on a whim. I took my mom on a 42 kilometer hike in two days. She may have wanted to do it, may have not. We got some cool experiences. Blisters on our feet. We inhaled a lot of fire smoke from forest fires. We didn't see the mountain we hoped to see, but we also got to join in a hot box, which was inadvertent. But, you know, it was pretty cool. So have some wild times. Things I have found on the road as a street nurse. A leg with no human attached. It was a prosthetic, by the way. Um, a lawnmower with chain to a bike rack. It was winter. It was minus 30. There were two feet of snow. A squirrel in somebody's pocket. I think it was consensual. I found a lasso. I found artificial teeth and real ones. Also, no human attached. Cheese sandwich. I found love, humor, resiliency, strength, wisdom, a veritable buffet of drugs, both legal and illegal. I'm going to tell you guys something wild. This is my first picture. And I said it wrong, so that's how you know it's my first time. Um, I'm a Canadian Calgarian resident. I'm Indigenous. This is my Treaty 7 area, but I'm actually from Treaty 1. Um, I have a trans brother. I feel like everything tonight has just really spoken to me, and I wanted to say I love you all in this really shitty time. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That was cool. Um, so... Uh, in the theme of being interactive and wild, I'm gonna let you all take out your phones and Google map CFS alert. Quickly, quickly, quickly! C CFS alert, that's where I spent six years and I got bit by a wolf and I looked at my head and I said, fuck, that's wild. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Dan, the one-man band. I was on Pachekacha 33 talking about busking, and uh, I've now been, I've been working with a, a tech company called Stagehand, and they are revolutionizing busking and bringing, uh, uh, connecting business with arts. And uh, we have buskers at the uh, airport, if you've seen any of those, that's through stagehand.app. After 30, you look in the mirror, things start to change. But so far, my favorite is after months and months of looking, you finally see, like Beyonce in a wind machine, a two-foot hair hanging out of your neck, dancing in the wind. <laughs> but the question is, at 40, do you cut it, do you pluck it, or do you go for a world record? <laughs> my name's Audrey Lane, and uh, Girls Gone Wild probably means different things to you and to me. Um, I'm going to tell you some jokes. What did the scarf say to the hat? Um, you go on ahead, I'll hang here. Um, <laughs> what did, what did the, the scarf uh, who was hanging out in the cold say and needed to get home? Ooh, burr. Um, okay, get home safe. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of things to say as the last one after all those wild stories, and I think to find something wild and the simple things are good. So find it in a person in going outside and in waking up. There's wild everywhere. Give it up to our wild! Thank you to our wild speakers! All right. You can all head back to your seats. Thank you so much.